In many of my Palette Master Element calibration guide, I always recommend that you use Panel Native as the RGB primary when you calibrate your BenQ SW display. This is so that you can get the largest color gamut possible. Many of you have been wondering what color gamut does Panel Native correspond to. Let's find out together. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. BenQ SW Display, being that they're hardware calibration capable, when you use Palette Master Elements software, you can go in and choose the RGB primary or the color gamut that you want to calibrate your display in. This is something different than a software calibrate display where you are more limited on options with regards to what color gamut you can calibrate that display in and you have to choose the color mode before. On these hardware calibrate display, you would simply launch Palette Master Element and in this profile screen that you see on my computer right now, you can then choose to use Pano Native or any other RGB primary as the color gamut for your calibration as well. The reason why I recommend choosing Pano Native is that you are able to access the largest color gamut that your panel can show. All of BenQ SRB display can show more than 100% sRGB when you custom calibrate it with your computer output. So choosing Pano Native is going to guarantee that you're always going to see the largest color gamut possible on the display. To quickly demonstrate what Pano Native is and how much larger this is from the standard Adobe RGB, I am going to use Mac OS Color Sync Utility to demonstrate this. If you're using a PC, there are websites that you can plot and it will show you a 3D representation of the color space from your ICC or ICM profile as well. But being that I use a Macintosh system, this makes it a little bit easy for me to show you this comparison. So the display that I have here is the SW270C and I have calibrated this display using Panel Native with Palette Master Element. So I will choose that profile. And this is my Panel Native profile. It doesn't seem like much right now, it seems like a fairly large color space, but what I'm going to do now is set this so that it shows an outline. And then afterwards, what we are going to do is pull in Adobe RGB 1998. So Adobe RGB 1998, that's what you see on the screen right now, that is in solid colors. And you can see clearly that our panel native, pretty much that wireframe is engulfing the Adobe RGB 1998 in pretty much all of the areas, maybe beside some of these purple here, but that's very minor. So this is telling us that when we use Panel Native to calibrate our BenQ SW display, we are going to get a color gamut that corresponds to even slightly larger than Adobe RGB. Now, some of you may be wondering what happens if you choose this large color gamut that's larger than the Adobe RGB spec. If you have an image that you tag with Adobe RGB or even sRGB for that matter, will you run into issues? The answer to that is no, because on all of our computer, there is a program called a color management module that is running in the background that's constantly doing the color translation for us. I will make a separate video talking about the CMM and doing a demonstration so you can see clearly what's going on. But for now, just know the CMM is running on the background. If you're using Adobe product, they have their own software called Adobe Color Engine or ACE. And that is a program that's constantly running in the background while you have Photoshop, Lightroom, and all the other Adobe Suite software running. And it's constantly looking at your tag color file and converting properly between your display profile so that you're always seeing the correct colors. I hope that you find this information about Panel Native on BenQ SW Display helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified, and until next time, in art we trust. I hope that you find this information on what color gamut Panel Native corresponds to in the SW Display line helpful. I'm Art BenQ Ambassador, and I'll see you in the next video.